Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this time, as the calendar year turns a page, we have a great meteor shower and a good set of circumstances for it. One of the best and most active meteor showers of the year is the so-called quadranted meteor shower. It originates in a fairly northerly spot in our sky uh, from the constellation Buotes, and this can be a really productive shower. Of course, it can be very cold in January in the northern hemisphere to go out and try to look at meteors, but it's a really good shower. It can produce about 110 meteors per hour. Not all of them are super bright, but you may have a really good meteor count. So what you want to do is to go out away from city lights. This year is a good favorable year for the shower because the moon is out of the way. It's a very slim crescent, so it's not going to interfere much. So what you want to do is go out away from city lights. All you need to do is look straight up and look for flashes of light um, as these little particles uh, from an asteroid uh, re-enter Earth's atmosphere and ionize producing that flash of light. Uh, you want to get away from city lights, and the best time to observe this shower or any meteor shower is between about midnight and 4 a.m. local time. That is when Earth's leading edge turns squarely into the oncoming meteor storm. This is produced, uh, we believe, by a relatively uh, little-known asteroid called 2003 EH1. Uh, that's not absolutely certain, but that seems to be the parent body for this unusual but very productive meteor shower. So go out, uh, get away from city lights. The quadranted meteors peak on January 2nd and 3rd, although you can see meteors on a number of days on either side of the peak. So get ready to celebrate the new year with a great meteor shower, one of the favorite fun things that astronomy enthusiasts love to do. I'll see you next time.